what's up guys welcome back to my channel the best man academy now this is where i talk about everything relating to graduate college admissions in the united states and how you can set yourself up for funding okay now in this video i'm gonna talk about something very special okay and if you remember very correctly in my last video where i discussed factors that you need to consider before going to graduate college i mentioned that you must ensure that whatever you are going to study excites you now graduate college can be very demanding so you want to make sure that whatever you study is very exciting it has to be of your own interest now in this video what i'm going to address is how can you identify where your interest lies in the United States. In other words, which university should I go to? Now, there are a lot of universities that you can attend, that you can apply to in the United States. The United States, as you can see, is really huge. And there are a lot of universities that are looking for good students like you, okay? So, if you are willing to explore other options apart from you know those Ivy League colleges which could be very difficult to you know gain admission into then make sure you stay around to um, learn from this video now before I continue I just want to remind you that if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and also you should endeavor to click the notification bell so that you can get the latest lessons finally if you have one or two people that would find the information here beneficial please don't be selfish share it with them okay so like i said earlier i am going to talk about the college interest match in this video and for that there are two ways you can go about identifying where your interest lies in the United States. The first way assumes that you know someone already in the United States and the second way assumes you do not know anybody in the United States. Now let's talk about the first way you can identify where your interest lies in the United States which is the most common form the word of mouth okay now some of you may already have someone maybe a colleague um, during your undergrad days or a family member or friends or neighbor who is presently studying in the United States or who has finished studying you can take advantage of the information that those people have now you should not be shy to ask people for information okay don't be timid to ask people now what you need to ask them is just a simple information about their university now in some of my previous videos i mentioned how it is very important to make sure you are going to your, a university with a very good research culture and a culture that accommodates graduate students when i say accommodates it could be it could be um how friendly the faculty is and the availability of funding. Now, you could talk to your colleagues and um, if they can recommend the university and the environment where the university is located, then you can go deeper into your search and go into the university website and see if you can find your interest. Now, I'm going to show you how you can do that right now now like i said earlier talk to someone if you know anybody at all talk to talk to them uh, about recommendations for you know graduates um, studies now they might um, recommend their university or another university based on your um, field of study now since i am your friend i'm going to give you an example and um, i'm going to recommend uh, let's say I recommend my um, alma mater, which is Oklahoma State University. Um, so, if I told you Oklahoma State University is a good place, which it is, um, 
so what you need to do is to find the website of Oklahoma State University okay now let's say uh, just um, so you are armed with your Google search bar right now and what you need to do is to go straight to the website now when you get here so where do you go okay you are trying to find if they have something you'll be interested in now you don't even um, know anything about research or something you just want to see if they have your field now what you need to um, find on this website is academics okay right here and this will be true for most universities as well so what you need to find there is click academics now you can see uh, it's differentiated into three what you need to click on is the graduate uh, academics and you would see some um, useful information so let's say you are interested in a master's degree or let's say doctoral degree then let's use the example of a master's right now so you click that and bam um, you can see all the different um, master's degree that the university offers now most universities arrange their stuffs like this um, most don't uh, some don't rather so for example let's say you are in the field of um, geology let me use that as an example so you just click that so what you need to look out for of course is first you know the, the the main aim of this video is to find out if this university has your research interest right so something you would enjoy so what you need to go for is find the research anything related to research um, in the department okay so again um, the most important way to do this is to check out the faculty page now if you are outside the United States the faculty is usually the group of professors in, in a particular department so whenever you find the faculty like I'm, uh, I'm doing right now so faculty academic faculty whenever you locate that page you would likely most likely see the research interests of each professor okay now you go over to the faculty page and you let's just pick an example here dr. J Greg um, so if you if you are interested let's say you are interested in carbonate petrology now or geochemistry then this would be a very good department to come to right and you, you can then have the opportunity to work with dr. J now how you go about contacting dr. Gray is um, something I would address in another video okay in some universities you might um, have to contact a professor um, before you can get admitted you might um, they might require you to to contact a professor and make sure the professor is ready to mentor you before you can apply for admission and in some cases um, some universities would just require you to apply and they will fix you up with a professor so we'll, we'll talk about requirements in the next video but in in this video my main aim is to show you how to search for where your interest lies and because you need to know what you kind of want to do in terms of research you know most of the time graduate studies are about research so most of the time you want to know what you are going to research maybe not specifically but you have an idea of a field that excites you so for example if geochemistry or carbonate petrology excites uh, an individual then you can look to put this as part of your lists of universities that you might um, want to explore so you just um, you can if you're in the geology de department you can just go ahead and uh, uh, you know uh, look at the profiles of all these professors what they do and you can determine well, what you would um, like to study in this um, department um, like i said sometimes you will be required to know what you are coming to do especially for phd um, applicants 
okay so all you have to do is to just um, surf this web page and it's the same for uh, any department uh, in any college in any university whatsoever so again you go to the department's um, homepage search for academics then try to get to the graduate um, um, college page then you can locate the uh, degrees they offer and um, what you need to do after that is to locate the faculty page and when you locate the faculty page there will be a list of faculties and the kind of research they do so from there from from there you can start having an idea of um, what you would like to do if you already don't have this idea but in most cases you would already, you would already know the kind of research you would um, like to pursue but if you don't have any idea this is the best way to go about it okay so there you have it through word of mouth you can um, get a name of a university and um, search for information about your interest or uh, maybe your course of interest or your research interests as I've shown um, on the screen uh, you can do that to identify where your interest lies now the second way to identify where your interest lies in the United States is to search now I'm gonna teach you an efficient way of searching for where your interest lies and like I said earlier this assumes that you know nobody in the United States okay now let's get on the screen and see how you can efficiently do this search so again the assumption here is that you don't know anybody in the United States you have no colleagues family or friends that are presently studying so where do you start however you should at least have an idea of the kind of research that you want to do so for example let's say you are in the bio biomedical field and uh, you are interested in maybe cancer research and um, maybe you are interested in how nutrients um, kind of uh, relate or can help in alleviating cancer so let's say you're interested in um, vitamin D and cancer as an example so all you need to do like you can see on this page is to go to Google Scholar um, dot com and I prefer Google Scholar there are a lot of other um, uh, web uh, browsers or uh, that you can use to search for academic articles so what I'm gonna do here is to try to search for research on my interest right so let's say vitamin D and um, cancer okay um, now you can see there are tons of results and why I love Google Scholar is um, that you can do some filtering of what you don't need so what I would recommend when you are doing this kind of search is to filter it such that it only presents recent research okay because you want to study under people that are currently or actively um, doing a lot of research in that area so let's say um, you click since 2018 or 2015 I'll go with 2015 here so that means in the last four years all these people have done something related to vitamin D and cancer so what you want to do now is um, let's see if let's let me just go with the first one um, so here is um, an article on vitamin D and cancer now if you need if you don't like colon cancer you can if you want to specify breast or whatever you can do that as well on Google Scholar now what you need to do when you see this is to go to author information okay and you should you should find um, different journal have different styles okay so um, some journals will put that information under affiliation so what you need to do is just to find out um, the affiliation of the authors and I would recommend that you um, kind of 
focus on the last author because most of the time that indicates the person who led the research so that's the other people might be you know um, uh, I don't know students graduate students or but most of the time the last author or the corresponding author would be the one that led the research so that would be like the professor that you really want to um, research for that now as you can see the correspondence to Jason Park so most of the time it's usually the last author and sometimes it could be the first so you just need to focus on the corresponding author also you can see the department and the university here so these um, authors are from the University of Washington so what I want to do is um, go to another browser and just search University of Washington okay and um, go to their home page so again just like the previous uh, method what you want to go for is academics okay academics and you want to go to academic departments now from the previous page you can see that these uh, authors are from the department of comparative medicine so what you are looking for here is uh, because this is a list of academic departments so you are looking for comparative medicine and you can you can do other search as well again when you get to the web page of the department what you want to do is to search for the faculty and staff right because that gives you an idea of all the faculty or the professors in the department so when you click that you see the list of professors and you can see this is Jason Park right here you can click that and um, maybe um, just kind of see if what um, she does kind of matches with your interests uh, most of the time when you get to the professor's page you would see all you kind of have an idea of their publications and their research interests and you can also research other professors now whenever you see a university like this and it has your interest you put it on a list okay so this will be added to the list of potential schools or departments that you can apply to so that's it now the previous method assumes that you know nobody in the, in the United States and you can use that method to search for um, various universities now your challenge now or your assignment is to follow these steps and ident identify at least three schools where your interest lies when I was at this stage uh, during my time in 2011 12 I made sure I identified five schools now the reason uh, for saying you should identify at least three is um, because along the line on this channel I'm gonna show you some things or explain some things that will help you screen out certain schools so that you can focus your time and energy on the few schools that have your best interest so that's it for today in the next video I'm gonna talk about how to efficiently identify requirements for admission and how to start screening out some schools so in order not to miss that please don't forget to subscribe um, click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads and also don't forget to share this um, video or this channel with your friends and family and if you have any questions please um, write them in the comment section below best man here again and I'm signing out today I'll see you in the next video